Hi there, it's Kim Denny with the Inspired Designs and today I'm going to give you the basic tips on completing your anchor string art. Now keep in mind that most of my designs can be purchased as kits but they can also be purchased completed strung by me. So if you have a friend that sees yours and they absolutely love it but they don't want to string their own, no worries, I can always send them a completed one so just let them know that. Okay, so to get started, uh, when you received your plaque, I have outlined the basic shape of the anchor for you. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your main color that you want your anchor to be and tie that on to any nail on the outline. So you're just going to tie it like you're starting your shoelaces two times, so it'll tie around there. So I've already done that. And now what you're going to do is take your string and you are going to follow the outline that I have already done for you. So this is just really simply going along the shape to outline again. And we're going to outline between each layer because that actually gives you a nice, um, it kind of builds up a little bit of thickness as you see it from the side. So it gives it a really nice finished look. It kind of gives it... Um, you know, a little bit of dimension. So you'll continue around and you will just outline following what I already did for you. Okay, so let's pretend, well here we're basically there already. Let's get down here. Okay, so once you have completed your outline, you're going to pretend like you have a crayon in your hand and you're just scribbling inside the lines. You're going to stay inside that shape that we made. We're going to ignore these nails for now because that's what's going to hold our rope that we put on as the finishing touch. So don't worry about those right now. We're just going to stick with the shape of the anchor. And you're going to pretend like you have a crayon in your hand and you're just going to pretend like you're scribbling inside the lines. You can go in any direction. You can make some long lines. You can make some short lines. And you will just continue to loop around the nails to fill in your string. What you want to be aware of are these spaces outside the line. So you don't, for instance, want to come here and then cross over to here because now you're outside of your shape. So just be aware when you're stringing to stay inside the lines as best you can. You'll continue through the whole shape of the anchor doing what we just did there. Once you have the whole layer done, which means you've hit each nail about one time, it's okay if you miss some or it's okay if you hit a nail more than once, you're going to just gently press down on the string so it moves it a little bit closer down to the board, maybe like halfway down, and then you're going to repeat that whole process. So you'll do the outline again around the outer part of the shape and then the random stringing. And then you'll do that again, outline and then random, outline and random. Most people do three or four layers. You can make it as sparse or as dense as you would like it, whatever looks good to your eye. And then we're going to do a finishing border. Once that's as thick as you want it to be, once the anchor's all filled in, we're going to do a finishing border. If you're continuing on with the same color, you'll just use that for your finishing border. If you're using a different color, then you'll just um, cut a nice long tail. You'll notice when I tie on and tie off, I have really nice long tails. That makes it easier for you to tie, so it'll be less frustrating. So cut a nice long tail, tie that off to any nail, and then tie on your next color if you're changing colors. Okay, for the finishing border, it's really simple. You're just going to loop around two nails two times. So there's one, two, and then the next two nails two times. One, two, and then the next two, one, two, and you just continue all the way around. So if you can see, that gives it a little bit of a darker outline there. And basically you can think of it as you looped around nails A and B, circled around those two times, then B and C two times, then C and D two times, and just continue all the way around. Once you get to the end, you'll cut that off, you'll tie it, and once your project is completed, you can put a little drop of super glue or craft glue on these knots that you tied on and tied off, and once that's dry, trim it real uh, as, as close as you can without cutting any important strings. Okay, last finishing piece for your anchor is the rope. I have tied a knot on the one end, so that will just kind of set in here, and you can kind of um, get the fibers of the rope around over a few nails so it kind of hangs on for you. And then, as you come down here, the end of your rope is 
taped so you will kind of fish it underneath the string that you already had and you might need like a pen or a pencil to kind of you know poke at that between the string that you've already done the, the dark blue string that we've done here to get it under there because it's going to go underneath your string and you can look at the picture you'll continue to weave it down it'll come down here and then go under this bit of string so you're over you're over then under over then under and it'll come out at the bottom and then you can just trim it but look at the picture and you'll see what I mean where it goes over and under the string if you have any questions the best way to get a hold of me is through my inspired Facebook page so you can link uh, click on that and message me through there I'd also love it if you share a picture of your completed project once you're done share it with me on there and you can find more projects both on the Facebook page and on my inspired Etsy store thanks so much have a lot of fun bye bye